you got a student at home learning how to play the trombone or the euphonium, I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks that will help you teach them while they're at home. My name is Mr. CJ and today I'm going to show you a few little things that can really help you get the best out of your student while they can't get to school and see their teacher. Right at the front of our book, we have the basics. So if you're struggling to help your student, I suggest having a read of this for yourself and you'll see just how easy it is to put the instrument together and how to make a sound. It also helps students with reading the notes. If we turn the page, it's very easy to see exactly how it's done. These books are great and they're very self-explanatory. So if you can sit down with your student and help them, they'll start learning much faster. In the very back part of our book, we have the Rubank scale and arpeggio studies. So all of your students should be starting these scales if they haven't already finished most of them. So we have four exercises for each different key. Now, there's only four scales on this page, but there are more if we turn over the page. And of course, there are more in book two. I suggest that you start your, your practice session with one of these exercises before getting into your song exercises. This is not only a great warm up, but it's a great way to learn our scales and to get them underneath our fingers tightly. If your student's playing a trombone, here's a few ways you can help them at home. Firstly, we need to make sure that we've got our embouchure set up correctly. Embouchure is simply just the shape of our mouth that we need when we're playing to make a successful sound. When we play the trombone, what we're gonna try and do first is just say, mm. When we say, mm, it brings our lips together and it makes nice, flat embouchure. Mm. Then putting our mouthpiece right in the middle of our mouth. All we're gonna do there is do this. I bet that looks great on camera. Very, very simple. We're just letting our lips vibrate when the air goes through them. I'm not physically doing this, which is what some of your students will do. It's not pretty, and it makes for this ugly cow fart of a sound. I'm sorry you had to see and hear that. What we want Flat lips, lots of air. And remember, our kids aren't baboons, so we don't want this. Oh man, there were way too many chins in that video. Good luck, it's gonna be great.